How's it going guys, Vapov here and welcome back to another video. Now today I want to talk about the Oppo Enco W51 True Wireless Earphones because I think these are the perfect successors to the Oppo Enco W31s that I reviewed just last week. And I thought these were a great pair of headphones, not only because of the comfort and the build quality, but also because of the sound quality, the pricing, as well as the battery life. I thought these were pretty much the overall package. And if I was to recommend any true wireless earphones, especially at this price range, I would definitely recommend the W31s. And if I can get my hands on the W51s, I'd be sure to make a comparison video between the two to let you guys know what the differences between these are. But I feel like the increments you get with the W51s are really worth it and I can only tell once I get them in my hand so if you guys want to see me review them do let me know in the comments down below but without further ado let's actually get into the first ever video that I saw about the W51s right here so the video is basically from Sparrows News who basically take all these product launch videos and compile them into their channel and I feel like it's a really good way to judge the product overall. Now, the first thing that I notice is that the squarish box is different from the circular box. I don't know how this will differentiate in terms of comfort levels, but if you actually look at the headphones themselves, they look pretty similar, the W31s and the W51s. Now, the W51s have a variety of things that aren't on the W31s. The two things that I'm looking forward to the most are active noise cancellation, which offers a 35 decibel reduction in the noise surrounding, as well as wireless charging support and just better battery life efficiency overall. And we'll get to that in just a bit, but I think the overall video that we're watching right now focuses a lot on its active noise cancellation that I think you can trigger by double tapping one of the earbuds. And that really makes for an unparalleled experience. You can see that this guy is walking walking around jolly on his way and he can't hear anything the truck converts to a bike so I think the way they're conveying this is all the extra sound around you basically converts to nothing so you'll be able to experience your music even better so this dog basically converts to a cute little puppy and as soon as he removes the headphones he converts back to the real dog so I think with the video you get the essence of what these W51s are meant for and that's active noise cancellation now if we go over to this image right here we see two of the key features. One, the active noise cancellation, which obviously I can only test once I get the headphones. But the second thing is wireless charging. And speaking of charging, we'll actually get to the battery life on this thing as claimed by Oppo. So apparently if you charge this thing for 15 minutes, you get up to nine hours of playback and a full charge for the entire case takes up to 80 minutes to charge. And that gives you a total playback of 24 hours as claimed by Oppo. And of course you can use the wireless charger from Oppo or I think pretty much any wireless charger that supports Qi wireless charging to actually charge these earbuds, which is just an added convenience for, you know, people who are looking for wireless charging and you don't have to plug in the Type-C USB port, which I'm guessing you can do if you wanna use this wired charging feature as well. Now, in terms of colors, we're looking at a white one, which I think is the most minimal. It pretty much blends with everything. There is a shade of blue around it. I don't know if that's an effect from the light or if it's just the shade that Oppo went for. Don't really know. There's also a blue one, which I particularly like. I don't think it's blue, it's more of a turquoise color. Um, as you can see, the LED light is still inside the case, which is something I complained about in my W31 review. So if the LED light was outside, this would have been a much bigger upgrade in my opinion, because I think the LED light outside just gives you more idea of how much battery there's left in the headphones. And you know, you can visually see how much battery is left without having to pair them with your phone or pretty much anything else. Um, this is another variant, it's a black slash gold variant. I pretty much like this one too. And I think you do get the W31s in this variant too. Not sure about the blue one, but I could be wrong. Now this is basically all you get in the box. Pretty standard stuff considering the W31s also came with everything and you can check out the unboxing that I made over on this channel too to see what you get with the W31s. Now, one more thing I wanna add is if your phone supports dual transmission Bluetooth like the Oppo Reno 4 series does, it actually changes to a low latency mode. So the latency on this thing at its lowest is 47 milliseconds and at its highest is around 94 milliseconds as claimed by Oppo. So that's something you should keep in mind. Now these are already up on pre-order, but I don't know what or when these will be available in the UAE or pretty much any other market, but these are selling for $70. And if we do a live conversion like we do on this channel, this translates to 257 dirhams. Now considering these are you know a lower tier version of the W51s. The W31s sell here for 299 dirhams. I'm guessing the W51s, if they do come to the UAE, will sell for 
more so around the $100 price tag. I could be wrong, maybe even more than that. I'm guessing somewhere around the 450 dirham price tag because I think the increment makes sense. I don't think the W31s are going lower in price anytime soon. And if Oppo wants to stick to this pricing, especially in the UAE, they'll have to price the W51s at a higher price because they bring you more things like active noise cancellation, wireless charging, and better battery efficiency overall. But those were my thoughts on the W51s. I think they're a good upgrade in terms of specifications and on paper, and I really can't wait to try these out and compare them with the W31s if I do get it chance so yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you want to see a video on the w51 do let me know in the comments because that helps out i can reach oppo via that comment and maybe they'll be able to send a pair out if they come to the ua anytime soon i'll probably buy them and give you guys my thoughts that way but thanks for watching this was vabov and i'll see you in the next one adios